All right, everybody, so welcome into day three. So excited to have you back. I know that that was a lot going over mapping in day two. Today, we're gonna go over a little bit more mapping, uh, but before we get to that, I wanna talk a little bit more about organization, file organization, making playlists, um, doing all that inside of the Juice software. So let's come on over to my screen so that we can see. And then what I'm gonna do is, um, you can see in this browser area, so this section here is called our browser area, right? And over where I have my library, you can see that there are different um, categories. So playlists, you can have Finder, Sampler, iTunes, Bport, um, so on and so forth. Let's go to playlists. If I come over here, we'd already created this uh, initial playlist when we first set this up, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit this. You can add a smart playlist, you can import a playlist, we can add a folder, or we can add a playlist. So let's just add a folder, and I'm gonna show you what this does. Let's add a folder called, um, house music. So I added a folder called house music and inside of that folder, let's say I wanted to create a playlist called deep house. All right, so now when I come back out and I click on this little arrow right here, it drops down and I can see all of my playlists inside of that folder. So this is a great way of kind of keeping things organized and then you can collapse that folder as well whenever you want. Now, there is another feature called smart playlist and we'll get to that later um, what a smart playlist will do just in a nutshell is you can set different parameters um, so that if songs meet that criteria those songs will automatically go into that playlist um, it's a really super helpful feature if you've got your songs tagged up nice and neat um, smart playlist is a great thing to have so when i come back out here and by the way, you'll see that if I were to drag a song, let's say I drag Imagino, and I drag that into my Deep House playlist, it's not Deep House, but I drag it into my Deep House playlist, then I can see it here. When I'm clicked on the folder, you'll notice that I can't see that. I'm just seeing just a folder, right? Um, but if I click on the actual playlist, then I'll see uh, my playlist and all the songs in it. Great, now one other thing that I wanna show you while we're in here, is how I can actually change which fields I'm seeing here inside of my browser. So if I control click, um, I'll be able to, in fact, actually, let me do it over here. So if I control click, you'll see all of these different types of categories. Now, one of the categories I really like to have is this comment field. So I'm gonna add that back. And one thing that you'll notice here is that I've already got a comment on these demo tracks. And this is one of the reasons why I like the comment field is because it saves to the ID3 tag of the actual MP3, and then that will work no matter what you open that in. If you open that in iTunes, you'll still see the comment. If you open that in Juiced, you'll see the comment as well. Um, and then I don't really need the album, so I'm gonna get rid of the album. So you can see you can kind of clean things up and make them whatever you want them to be. I also had added in this category called energy, which we will get to in a little bit. And I also have this category called key, which we will also get to in just a little bit. But what I would like for you to do is at least just get yourself familiarized with how the playlists work, maybe start making a playlist. This can be the songs that you wanna put in here that would be inside of your very first mix. And that might be a good playlist to start with. All right, something else that we can do too is if you, you remember how I told you that I wrote these comments on this already, right? So if you wanted to edit my comments, you can. If I go ahead and click it once and wait for a second, then now this shows up and now I can edit the tag. So I can say, great, or whatever you want there. And then I can always drag these sections out. But you'll see that when I did that, all I did was I clicked on it and then waited a second and then it turns gray and now I can edit it. So uh, let's say I wanted to add in a genre. I'm gonna call this uh, Latin. Um, and it comes in there. I can also add more than one if I want. This is your library, so I think it's really important that you tag things how you want them to be tagged. I'm gonna type PNG, which is the name of the, the group, and for me, I organize my music that way, um, or at least for my files. Uh, Feeling Good is, is one of my projects that I have, and so um, inside of my playlist, I might have like a Feeling Good folder for when we perform together, um, these would be some of the tracks that we perform. So you can tag things however you want. Make your library your own. Uh, go ahead and try to do that, and uh, I will see you on the next one.